So what is this link between influenza, infection, and stroke? Yeah, I didn't know about this either until last year, but it turns out that after flu season, about three or four weeks later, there is a stroke season. And like you said, most of Canada is uh, getting down off of a, of a big uh, hump of, of flu. So now we're starting to see more strokes. And a friend of uh, one of my colleagues actually mentioned that at work the other day. He said, have you noticed how many strokes we're seeing? It's a lot more than usual, it feels like. So anecdotally, we're starting to see that. The good news is that uh, getting your flu shot reduces your risk of stroke, according to a study from the University of Calgary right here back in November. Tell us more about that study. Yeah, so the researchers looked at health records of all Albertans, so about 4 million people over 10 flu seasons. And they found that about for about six months after you get your flu shot, the risk of having a stroke is reduced by about 20% overall compared to if you didn't get a flu shot. And your risk goes down even if you don't have the, the sort of typical stroke risk factors like being over 50 or, or smoking, things like that. Even for younger folks, the risk is lower if you get a flu shot. And it's even lower if everybody gets their flu shots year after year after year rather than just a, a single flu shot. I'm hearing a theme here. We should get our flu shot.